Hi, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to one of the fastest people I know. He's an engineer and a former Division I runner and member of the Canadian Olympic Development Team. In other words, he knows a lot about shoes. Hi, I'm Cameron Nurse. It feels like I've been an athlete my entire life. I've competed in countries ranging from the U.S. all the way to the Ukraine, uh, in sprinting events that go from 60 meters all the way up to 500 meters. And I've had the pleasure of competing against some of the best athletes in the world. I've always loved going fast, feeling the wind brush by my ears, or the feeling of fresh air fill my lungs when I'm done running. The shoes I wear are really important to my performance. The way the shoe grips the ground, the way it conforms to my feet, uh, the way it cushions the forces on my body, all help me run faster and run better. But I'm also aware that some of the materials in the shoes that I love wearing negatively impact the environment. Now I'm an engineer, and I work on creating wearable technology for athletes. One thing I love about engineering is that we are always faced with challenges and problems. And we're really good about creating designs and solutions to solve those problems. One of the biggest challenges that shoe designers face is selecting the materials to use. Did you know that most shoes are made of synthetic materials? Often they're made of plastic, which is selected for its properties like flexibility and water resistance. And athletes need to change their shoes regularly to help prevent injuries. So old shoes will eventually find their way into a landfill. And that's just one person's shoes. But imagine if everyone in the United States threw a pair of shoes into a landfill. That would be about 300 million pairs of shoes. And to make matters worse, scientists estimate that some shoes can take hundreds of years to degrade. Imagine if your shoes were made of a natural material like rubber or leather instead. Because these materials come from plants and animals, the environment can break them down faster. So, problem solved? Well, as engineers, you're about to find out it can get pretty complicated.